Hi, my name is David Aidozi, Outdoor Certified Instructor from Maya. In this video, I want to show you how you can use Mainline Pro. What's Mainline Pro is? Mainline Pro is a new user experience from Maya. It's designed for make more fast, easy the use and the learning of Maya. After you have downloaded it from the link below, you have this .zip file. Inside of the .zip file, you have your main directory where main Pro is located and the readme file. From the readme file, you have all information about using main Pro and of course how to install it. I am under Windows, so I need to go into this directory, the document document directory Maya. I already here. Need to backup my old settings. And after backing up my old settings, I can just drag my 2017 from the zip archive inside of my documents folder. After open main Maya, I have already the ability to use all the functionality of Maya Pro. You don't need to do anything other, only this. What exactly is contained inside of Main Line Pro? Main Line Pro contains some preferences, some plugins, and some scripts for create a new user experience based on the workflows. Now I will show you immediately what I want to mean. The first thing you need to notice is for using Main Line Pro, the workspace will be set to Main Line Pro as a standard ones. If using standard Maya works, uh, workspace, it don't work. Every hotkey, every ability you have inside Maya, you can use in conjunction with Main Line Pro. So you Main Line Pro do not change the standard Maya behavior. For example, you can press Alt, use the left mouse button, the middle mouse button, the right mouse button to navigate your machine as always, and so on and so forth. What Main Line Pro do? Do the additional workflows. I want to show you immediately. If I want to create something. I can press Z and using the middle mouse button. Z middle mouse button gives you the ability to create something. Now I will create a cube, press shift and drag on the chain for draw in, in regular mode. Great. From here I want to make some modification of this one on this cube. How I can work? Press Z again and this time I use my left mouse button. Because I already I have just now create my cube, my Maya using uh, my contextual workflow using a recognize the creation node. Now I need to go to mesh, press Z again, middle mouse button again, and now I have my uh, mesh marking menu. This is a totally contextual. For example, I want to show you immediately. Now I want to go on to multi cut tool. And you see I have inside of the multicut tool, but look at this. If I press Z and this time again middle mouse button, I have a contextual marking menu for this tool. Of course, for multicut tool. This is how May 9 works. Using Z, the middle or the left mouse button. But there is a little more thing. Press entering for closing the tool. Press Q for quit the tool and now look at this. If I select a face, so a component, and press Z and remove without touching my mouse, I have a context wallet key. In this case, I can toggle on and off the component and the object mode. Because now I am inside of the object mode, press Z again and remove my, my button, and I have now the selection of multi selection mode. Press Z and I come back again inside of the inside of the object mode. Of course, I press uh, delete for delete my object. Another thing I can do inside of uh, Main Line Pro is using uh, some uh, contextual marking menu based on the panel. I want to show you immediately. If I go under the outliner and press Z and the left mouse button, I have access to my contextual marking menu for the outline panel. But look at this. If I press Z and remove without using my mouse, I have access to contextual hotkey based on current mouse position. So now I can toggle on and off non dag object. This is very, very simple and fast to use. So, for example, if I, if I create a little animation, press Z, 
needle mouse button, go to nor, create a sphere, shift and drag, and press S to save this dot key and go over in the time W and go over in space and S again to create animation curve. Now I can open up my graph editor. Here you have all the main editor of Maya, everything is uh, is ordinate. And now I can close up this one and look at this. Now I can work on my curve. Press Z, left mouse button. Now I have again the ability to uh, make some uh, customization and work on these elements. For example, go select curve, select my curve, and now everything is as, as expected. For closing up, for closing this menu to the editor, I just need to click again on the open the editor. That's very fast. UV editor, I can now edit my UV. Press A for show and frame all the UV of these objects. And uh, last but not least, I want to show you a combination of selections. For example, look at this. If I go and close my UV editor and uh, press F to focus on my object, Z for going multi component, select my edge, shift select my faces, now Z, left mouse button, and now I can use a wedge. Or I want to do this, this other functionality by using the contextual out key, select my face, shift select my edge, press Z and remove. That's it. This create contextual out key. There is a ton of these new workflow inside of Maya Pro. All right, great. There is another two thing I have uh, I, I have when I have focusing by design and creating an Pro. The first one is a new hotkey. There is a ton, a ton, a ton of new new hotkey. You have everyone listed inside of the readme. For example, if I want to put this element at the center of the at the center of the word, I can press Shift Alt and Z. This put my object in the center of the word. That's very, very interesting. Or, uh, or another things you can use, you can have inside of Menem Pro is a set of new settings. I try to um, build and design Menem Pro for um, optimize around me, around Maya. So, for example, I have disabled the the scrolling wheel zoom. This for this because uh, a lot of thing you can do inside of Maya is based by is made by middle mouse button. So a lot of time when you use middle mouse button, you can change your view, and this is not a good idea. So this is another feature inside of Maya Pro. So what you can do. Instead of Menem Pro, you have contextual marking menu based on selection, groups of selections, and panels. You have the universal marking menu, you have the contextual marking menu for tools, you have new workflows based on contextuality, you have new hotkey, improves and optimized settings, and uh, a new layout for faster reach your key editor inside of inside of Maya. Well, I hope you find this useful and bye.